ESP32 has a Wi-Fi capability where we can take advantage for controlling anything remotely. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use ESP32 to host a website for controlling anything. Let's say turning on or off, off the light at home. In this video, we will just use LEDs for demonstration. If you decided to use it in the actual application, you may connect a relay instead of the LED. In this setup, we will configure the ESP32 as a Wi-Fi client and in station mode. It works like this. We have our device, which is the ESP32, which will serve also as a web server. The internet router will serve as an access point between the ESP32 and our device. It will provide the IP address for all connected devices. Our device could be a mobile phone, a desktop computer, or anything that could connect to internet. We will connect to ESP32 through the router using the provided IP address which will get using serial monitor. The ESP32 will be the web server hosting a web page. In the web page, we will display some buttons for controlling purposes and it will also display the current status of devices we are controlling. There are other ways to do this but we will focus in using the station mode configuration of ESP32. Station mode configuration of ESP32 needs an access point or a router in between. Now, let us see how it works. First, we begin by resetting the ESP32 so that we loaded it properly. Here you can see that the ESP32 send an IP address of the web server, which is this one. First, make sure the ESP32 is connected to the, the same router we are using for the web browser or our client. We copy this uh, IP address which is 192.168.0.109 and when you hit enter as you can see new client and the web server is displayed so by pressing any of the buttons here we can control the state or the status of the LED connected to ESP32. Let us press the turn on of the blue LED. And as you can see, the blue LED turns on. We can turn it off. And we just need to wait because my internet is not good. See, the blue LED turns off. We can turn on the green LED, turn on the red LED, turn on also the blue LED, and so on. And every time that the web page is sent back to our to the client, the client is disconnected. Now, let's briefly discuss the source code so that you can use it in your Arduino projects. So first, we include the Wi-Fi library. Then, I use Define to define the pin assignments of the LEDs for blue, green, and red LED, which is connected to digital 25, 26, and digital 27, digital pin 27. Then, we create an object for the server and the client using this one. Then, I define the SSID and password of our router. Then, we create the global variables which is the HTTP variable will hold uh, 
the HTTP request from the client, then the following states are to hold the LED states and we initialize it to uh, off. Then in the setup function, we initialize the serial. Then we initialize the pin direction of the LEDs. Then we set it to low so that the LED will begin as uh, in turn off state. Then we print this one. Then we connect to the Wi-Fi using the SSID and the password. Then we wait until we can connect to the Wi-Fi of our router or our access point. Then we print something in the serial monitor. Then we start our ESP32 server. In the loop, we are constantly checking if a client uh, tries to connect to our server. If the client tries to connect, we will print new client, which is this one, new client. Then we initialize our uh, client data string variable, which will hold uh, initial data received from the client. Then we will wait until the client finish uh, sending all the requests. So if there is data available from the client, we read one character by using client.read function. Then the function, uh, then the one character we read from the client is append to the HTTP variable. We try to put it in the serial. Then here, we will check if the carriage return is received. Because if we receive the carriage return, it means that the sending of the client request is done or finished. So if it finished, we process, we do the necessary action like we send the reply, we update the LED states, and we update the web page. Then... When all is done, we clear the HTTP variable. Then we stop, we disconnect from the client. So let us check the send response function. The send response function basically sends an HTTP response headers, which are this one. Next is the update LED. So... The update LED is this one. In here, we will check the HTTP request of the connected client. So, using the HTTP GET, then turns the LED on or off according to the HTTP request. So, basically, we are checking the client request uh, string using a GET function if this string is received. So, to turn, if the blue LED on or blue LED off, green LED on, green LED off, like that, and so on. Then, we act accordingly. So, we put, uh, we send to our serial monitor, change the LED state, then we change the state of the LED, and so on. After that, we update the web page. So, in the updating of the web page, we will display or update the web page by sending the HTML to the connected client. In order for us to use the HTTP GET functionality, the HTML hyperlinks or href is used in the buttons. So, as you can see, uh, all our buttons has href, which when we press the buttons, it has a hyperlinks which sends this uh, string, which we can view also in our web server, this one. So, 
this is the IP address of the web server and this is the string being sent. So we can turn on the blue LED by changing this one. Then hit enter. Then let us wait until it is being sent. And as you can see, the blue LED turns on and our web server updates its status. So the, that was the same for all. For the client, that print line basically sends the whole HTML. So as you can see, this is uh, telling that we are sending an HTML. We have the HTML. We have the opening its head. This is the body. And this is the body. Closing body. Or closing HTML. So, that's it. If you have any question regarding this tutorial, please do not hesitate to write it in the comment box. Please like and share and subscribe. See you in the next video. Thank you and have a good day. Bye! Now, I have here a PS Vita and a mobile phone which is both connected to our ESP32 web server. So, currently, the blue LED is on in both mobile, uh, in both client. So, what I will do is I will turn on the red LED here. Here. So, the red LED is on. So, of course, for me to be able to see the update, I need to refresh this web page. So, as you can see, the red LED is now on here. I can turn it off. As you can see, the red LED is now off. And here, it's still on because I need to refresh this web page.